This looks like so much fun. Oh yeah, nice job. Welcome back to What's Inside. I'm Lincoln, this is Dan, and today we are going to cut open a water filter. That's right, a giant water filter. <laughs> We're gonna do this for two reasons. First of all, because you guys recommended it, so thanks a lot for that. The second reason is because every year Bill and Melinda Gates write an annual letter outlining their key take on global issues, and this year's letter is entitled, Two Superpowers We Wish We Had. In the letter, it challenges readers to imagine if they had a superpower for good, what would it be? Pretty cool thought, right? Yeah. The goal of the letter is to broaden awareness and get each of us involved to make a positive, lasting change in the world. We've mentioned in a previous video that I was born in the Philippines. I lived there for a couple of years giving service. If I had a superpower for good, what would it be? Mine would be to bring clean, drinkable water to the entire world. Here in America, a lot of us don't realize how big of a need clean water is. Here's a crazy stat for you. If you took all of the people in the United States, everybody, and then you doubled that number, that number would be how many people do not have access to clean drinking water. That's crazy. Here's some water that I got from our house here. Before Lincoln comes and gets ready to film this, I've got this cup. Oh, toilet water. There we go. Toilet water, non-toilet water. Here, All right, before you drink it, let me just tell Lincoln, one of these is toilet water from our toilet. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> so, Lincoln was really quick to drink it. Do you want to drink one now? Yeah. Yeah? You want to drink some toilet water? This, this toilet water? I don't know. Yeah, you do. <laughs> I do know. <laughs> this one's toilet water. Can you tell the difference between the two? Yeah, this one has more bubbles than this one. Okay, so which one is the toilet water then? This one. You're wrong. It's this one. <laughs> the water here in our toilets, here in America, is actually cleaner than most of the drinking water that's in the developing countries around the world. That's crazy. Isn't that sad? But rather than just sit and talk about the needs, I've got to show you guys, and I've got to show Lincoln. It's backwards, like the way you flip it. Hello! Magandang hapon! Kamusta ang tubig? Malamig ba? Opa! Ah, malamig? Here we go. Here comes the jump. Let's see it. Ah. Woo! This water is where they're swimming, they're having fun, it's a blast. It's a little bit cold, but these kids love it. But it isn't just somewhere to play like a swimming pool. So this is the place where you clean your clothes, where you swim and have fun, and also where you take a bath, and where you get your water. So we're gonna fill this up with some water. Now I'm gonna put this back in, and now we're gonna take it over to the house, which this thing's pretty heavy. And in case you didn't see it, there's the pig right there, he's just hanging out. He's got a rope that's tied to that tree right there. And then I guess he can just swim in the water. So you can see why diarrhea is the number two killer in a lot of the developing world. Because water is such a precious commodity, you'll get it from wherever you can. If this is the best option, this is the best option. All right, we got our water. It is heavy. Let's go. <laughs> the interesting thing is you just saw me fill it up with water from the river. It keeps the water in there unpurified the whole time until you need to use it. And so that's nice because sometimes people will purify their water, they'll have drinking water, but then they'll let it sit out for a day or two days, and then it might not be clean anymore by the time they want to drink it. All right, so let's pump it up. I don't know if you can feel how hot it is here. Like, you can probably see the sweat on my face, but it is very hot. <laughs> right, Link? And when you tighten it up, that has the pressure in it. And so the water that's coming out of here goes through the actual filter and it sprays out. See that? It's pretty good, right? That's clean drinking water. What's up guys? We're cruising in our trike. It's a motorcycle with this little basket. See this guy? at our friend's house in the Philippines and this is where most people get their water. There's two of these in the neighborhood and then they come over, they fill up their buckets and then they carry them all the way over to their house. 
here's the house. So here's the living room, a bedroom. See, most of the floors are concrete or dirt here. And then here's where the cooking area is. So you bring your jug right here, you have where you cook, and then the bathroom is down there. This is the bathroom in the Philippines. Here's the toilet, you take a bucket of water, you dump the water in. It just has an umbrella right here and some tarps and cloths and the toilet. You just dump the water in there and it washes out. in the Philippines. Oh, so it was much. so warm there, right? Yeah. Oh, and the people were so nice and awesome and it was so good to be there. For many years of my life, I've been able to give back to the Filipino people. It was nice to be able to give them some water filters while we were there. We do have one back here in America because of course you want to see what's inside of it. We have to cut one open. That's the side where the filter actually is. Interesting. Look how that works. Isn't that cool? So the water all goes into there and somehow gets filtered and then comes out of that must be the nano filters right in there. So we definitely need to cut this open for sure. I'm not gonna cut this big blue container because I would rather replace the filters and then be able to give this to somebody that needs it. And then on the other side, here's the pump. If you remember the pump, pumps it up. And look at that. All right, Lincoln, I think I cut all the way through it. It's pretty close. Oh yeah, I think so. All right, let's see what this filter looks like. Cool. Oh. It's like big sticks. It's like straws. Yeah. These little plastic things must be the actual filter. Like they're small enough for the water to go in there and then see, look inside. So you can see what it looks like at the top, how it has those holes. Yeah. So if you can see all the holes at the top, somehow it filters into here and goes up and out. It just has those little tubes. It's like little tiny tubes. This is supposed to be able to filter out 99.9% .9 of viruses. I mean, they say don't use like the dirtiest water you can find because obviously it might not filter it all the way, but it should be able to filter 99.9% .9 of the viruses. It has this outer layer of hard plastic, then it has the inner layer of red plastic, and then There's it just white. gets to these white straw type materials, which is the actual filter. That's really, really fascinating. I don't know. I didn't think that's what it was gonna look like inside. Yeah, that is weird that these little plastic things filter out all the water that you drink. It's amazing that they can invent something like that. The bottom line is there are people out there that need help and a wa one water filter is not going to save the world. Go to the Bill and Melinda Gates annual letter. It's in the link in the description below. Read it and think about if you had a superpower for good, what would it be? Leave it in the comments below.